A 60 Minutes investigation revealed that lumber liquidators sold flooring contaminated with a chemical that can cause cancer. Well, now the company has agreed to a government demand. And here's Manuel Bohorkas. And this is a piece of it here. Betty Banks learned she had Chinese-made lumber liquidators laminate flooring in her Texas home last year. She believes it was making her sick. I was experiencing a runny nose, runny eyes, a dry hacking cough. Did you know that there was a need possibly to test the flooring you had in your home? No. As part of an undercover investigation, 60 Minutes went inside some of the Chinese factories where the laminate boards were made. Their investigation revealed workers were using boards with higher levels of formaldehyde to make lumber liquidators laminate in order to cut costs. The flooring was sold between 2011 and 2015 and was purchased by 614,000 customers in the U.S. Lumber Liquidators has tested the air quality in only a fraction of those homes, 17,000. But the Consumer Product Safety Commission is now requiring lumber liquidators use a more stringent measure to test the flooring and wants all homes to be tested under a new recall program. Elliot Kay is the commission's chairman. There is a concern that some homes could still have harmful levels of formaldehyde coming from certain products from the company and the safest course of action is to go ahead, follow the recall to test, get the test kit and follow the steps that we've laid out. Customers must request test kits from the company and are asked not to remove the flooring on their own as that could cause exposure to the chemical. Betty Banks says she could not wait. She paid to have the boards removed but says she's run out of money for a new floor. Turn my life bottom size up. You will never believe the agony that I've been going through. Lumber Liquidators is facing more than 200 class action lawsuits. Scott, the company has agreed not to sell 22 million feet of Chinese made boards like this one that was in Betty Banks' home and to replace any flooring found to be unsafe. Manuel Bohorkas for us. Manuel, thank you.